Hey, how you doing? This is Info Puppet. And, uh, we're really gonna be kicking up a couple of notches now when we're getting into this next morphing video. Alright, so, uh, I want you guys to check it out. I think you're gonna like it. It's Morphing Part 2. Check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Well, we've got Photoshop Elements open up right now, and, you know, I don't know about you guys, but this stuff makes me dizzy. I wish these engineers would stop doing that. Alright, let's look at the three images that we're going to be working with. And, uh, we're going to start with the, uh, the image of the lion. So let's get rid of these other two. And, uh, let's go to the toolbar. I need an eraser tool, because I want to get rid of that black background. You know what I'm saying? So let's go and select an eraser tool, and I want to go down to the magic eraser tool, left click and release, and boom, it's gone, and back to the toolbar for the selection brush tool. Now, check it out, if you, if you didn't get the selection brush tool, it might be because the quick selection brush tool is showing left click and hold, and you'll grab the selection brush tool. Now, we're just left clicking, holding, and dragging. I don't need to worry about staying in the lines around the teeth, because I've already got transparency. So it's very easy selection, and uh, there you go. Let's bring out the pair, and we're gonna we're gonna drag this lion mouth over. Uh, I just selected the move tool, and I'm gonna activate the image by clicking on the header, and now I can left click and drag it over to the pair. All right, we'll minimize this. Now let's go ahead and resize this, and I want the the mouth to stick out past the pair because this is where the morphing is. We're gonna really come in uh, to this scary looking pair. Well, let's go to the toolbar and select the eyedropper tool because my next step is I have to grab a sample of the background. I can't assume it's black. I need it exactly the same. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and drag a big rectangle. Now my canvas size is bigger than my image. That's why I scroll. But bam, there you go. The pair's covered by the big black rectangle I just drew. All right, so let's go to the layer panel and drag it below. That big black rectangle has to be below. I just clicked on the layer panel now because that's what we're going to work on. And I have the eraser tool. See what's going on? Very easy when you align your layers up like we just did. All right, now let's get rid of this reflection because it's just not going to work because there's no mouth in it anymore. That's done. All right, let's go to filter, distort, and liquify. Wait a minute. This isn't working. I can't work on that. Why do I listen to Infant Puppet? He's a dummy. Well... It's because you have to select all three layers and hold the shift key down to do it and then select merge layers. Okay, now all three layers are now merged into one. There it is. And we're going to go up to filter and distort and liquefy and there you go. It's going to work this time. Now the liquefy filter has got its own set of tools and we're going to select the first one, the warp tool. Love the warp tool. I'm just left clicking, holding and dragging and there you see warp from the warp tool and that looks pretty good a little more work needed in the bottom here not a problem the warp tool can do the job beautiful okay maybe fix the upper lip a little bit like that all right i love that okay now we're back in the main area of photoshop and we're gonna go and grab the eyeball now and start off with back to the toolbar for the selection brush tool and uh, I'm just going to left click, hold and drag. And I want to leave this selection not perfect. I don't want a beautiful eyeball in this pair. So there's that hole that in the set in the, on the white there that I'm going to leave. And we're going to turn this down to like a, well, 19 pixels so I can get in the corners a little bit better. There you go. And now finally to select feather and four pixels is perfect. And now the move tool, left click, hold and drag the eyeball over. Boom. A little bit too big. I will resize that, and there's that little blemish there, see in the eyeball, it's actually the pear skin showing through, but there you go, there's Info Puppet Scary Pear, hope you guys like it, please subscribe, and thanks again for watching from Info Puppet.